What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd here with Wave Magnetic, and uh, I got another video for you. Um, I know last year I did my 2017 uh, top 10 plugins for mixing and mastering and whatnot, and uh, this time I got my 2018 top 10 plugins, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show those to you. And uh, give you a chance to check it out. This is actually one of them right here. This one I'm actually using on my voice as you see it moving. You see the knob moving as I say, yeah. You see that? This is the Waves uh, 1176. Last year I was using the uh, the Slate one more. But this year I wound up picking this up. And man, this one is so great. Because you get the blue and you get... Uh, and you get the blackie so they're really cool because they they have a sound and they really keep the vocals to be forward well really any kind of instrument you put on it kind of works for everything i really this thing is the shit um i'll use this on trumpet bass vocals um yeah anything that i want to be super in front that's not necessarily like a drum or whatever but sometimes i use it on drums um the one, the thing that I really like about this is that it smooths out the uh, the vocals and trumpet, especially because there's like that like seven k seven k frequency range. It like it can get kind of harsh with certain with certain uh, uh, EQs and and different uh, uh, compressors. Like uh, I like the Pui Child, but it kind of pushes that 7K range. This Blackie really keeps that 7K out of, out of, in control, so that you don't have to use so much DSing on the on the vocals. So I keep that in mind, man. This Blackie right here and the Bluey. The Bluey has a little bit more grit on it. Uh, I use that too, but they're they're both the shit, pretty much. Yeah. So that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, plugin number two is the Kramer tape. I use this on every mix right now. Um, I put this on my master bus and, uh, I pretty much pull up a preset. I just open this thing up and I go to mastering. I go to big and open and that, and then I make this to be the tape speed. Uh, I'd make it to 15. And that's really about it. I leave it like that. And uh, when you mix through it, it really it really makes a big deal. Uh, some people use this on like basses and stuff too. Uh, it's cool for that. Some people that works for, for me, I don't really do it too much because um, it's kind of CPU hungry too. So I don't have an i7 processor, so I don't really use it. I use other stuff. Uh, my a new favorite is waves tune <laughs> yeah man i was looking for a tuning plug-in because you know when you're working with singers and whatnot um you got tuning vocals sometimes man that's just the way it goes and uh this one was really the cheapest one that i could find that actually worked this joint when i got it, it was like 60 bucks or something like that i'm like Auto tune, the answer is auto tune thing is like 300. I'm like, get the fuck out of here with that. But uh yeah, this is this is cool. I mean, you just, you know, um you have to do it in multi steps. So, you hit the play button, it records, and then you just tune it up. You know, you got the knobs, just play with it till it gets good, you know. It's pretty good. I like it. Uh what's that? Number 1 2 3. Number 4. The NLS, yo, this joint is ridiculous. This makes my mixes sound so much better. I was using a Slate um, VCC, which this is kind of similar to that, but what sold me on this was the mic console. I don't know if everybody likes this. I think this is supposed to be an emulation of an EMI console or something. The distortion on this joint brings the mid range pretty. It makes the mid range really nice, and the low end. It makes the mid range and the 
it just is like it's like sexy man the neve and and the, and the nevo and the spike they cool too but mike that's where it's at so you just basically put this on every every uh track put it on the master bus and you don't even necessarily have to turn any knobs just put it on and it, and it, and it does something so you can like tweak it too but that one is a keeper uh but number five for me now new is uh the t-rex white channel now i know a lot of people use the the other one what's the other one called the uh what channel was that one british channel yeah uh some people use that british channel but i i use that sometimes but my new favorite one for vocals and trumpet and snare drums white channel uh the, i mean it's like an ssl plug-in i think they said it's a emulation of ssl 9000 and uh it's pretty dope you know this is the the compression one you turn it to hard if you want to hit some uh hit hit the snare drum turn the thing down you know bam compression goes here but the eq setting is super dope because it has that aggressiveness it has almost the aggressiveness of that knee 1073 which i really like on vocals and trumpet but it doesn't have the same kind of harshness that that does that that has um it's a different vibe i mean i like the 1073 i i go back and forth between 1073 and, and this joint right here so you know i usually just turn this up right here this is the the filter the low cut turn that up around this area whatever i take the high channel put that on 10 around 10k boost this joint till that sound good then I take this uh, around like six or seven K, make the wide, boost this joint up so that sound good. And then a lot of times, um, if if it's if that makes it a little, if it needs some more bottom end from what I cut off, I'll just make it a peak down here, set it to around two twenty, and boost that up until you know find the, the sweet spot where it gives that body back to the to the vocal. Or the trumpet or whatever because you know i play trumpet so uh, i'm doing a lot of trumpet so if i need more body in my trumpet or my vocals uh that's what i do down in this area and it works like works like butter right there another new joint my favorite reverb now is the little plate by uh what's this company sound toys yo this is the simplest plug-in i literally turn it on turn this thing up to like 130 and just send stuff through it this thing is, is is so beautiful i mean this is like the best reverb i i have sounds great uh other thing right here trash 2 isotopes trash 2 this joint is is really good i use this a lot um on basses because like i said i don't really like using um the uh the tape plug in the kramer on the bass so what i use is this uh trash and i made a preset and it's cool because you can make presets i use this i call it max bass because it's kind of like the waves max bass and i set it right here this frequency range you can do multi-band um multi-band saturation so like just the low band the mid band the high band i'll put it on the high band uh, the tape saturation and i'll boost this up on my basses so that you get that feel where you can really feel the bass and you can hear it on like um on like small speakers and everything and it really it really makes fills out the the track it makes the track really really full without being like over the top it just sounds really good so uh trash 2 that's what i use it for but there's so many things you can do with this thing like this thing is is ridiculous there's so much shit you can do with this so that's one of my favorites um now this one right here i fell in love all over again with this joint um this is the t-rex 
classic clipper. Yo, on my masters, when I'm mastering shit, yo, this helps me get that extra bit of level and helps you get that little bit of saturation that makes makes you say, mm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so most of the time I usually turn this, uh, like this side is like um, hard clipping. This side, I guess, is soft clipping. And uh, this, yeah, it's a clipper. It just chops off the peaks. And this kind of rounds stuff off so it don't sound so harsh and too uh, attacky, you know, if that makes sense. Um, and then I just boost it up until, you know, it uh, is doing about 1 to 2 dB of gain reduction or just chopping off up to 2 dB. And uh, it gives me just enough, just enough level so that I can hit it with my final limiter. This is my number 10 plug in right here. Isotope ozone. Yeah, I like isotope ozone seven. I know they got ozone eight out now, but I ain't buying it because it ain't. I mean, it's cool, but it's just I don't see it being better enough for me to spend the money right now. I got IRC4 right here. That's my favorite, favorite limiter. This joint is killing. I mean, it's real simple. You just turn this thing down, hit threshold down, and thing gets louder. And then you can fuck with the, the stereo unlinking to make it even get that wide sound, you know, so it don't sound too boxy. Or not boxy, but just too, like, direct. And then if you need more uh, punch, you got the transit enhancer right here. Turn this up or down. You got this whole character thing. If you want to make it loud, then like, you know, you got to bring it down to faster. And then if you just want it to be like real transparent, just turn it slower. You know, it's real, real simple, simple stuff. Um, but yeah, those are my. Top 10 plugins of 2018. So, uh, yeah, I just want to say if you uh, like like what you heard, if you want to keep up with what I got going on, make sure you hit the subscribe button and um, make sure you hit the bell so that you'll be notified when I when I make new videos. And uh, yeah, let's keep this joint going. So I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.